Get set, go.
Oh, hey, you must be here to talk about band. Well, hello. I am the band director over at Mallow Junior High. My name is Mr. Steinberger. Um, and did you know that the word band means to unite together for a common purpose? And here, at in band, well, well, we band together for band. We come together to play music and to have an experience together. I'm talking instruments. I'm talking flutes, saxophones, clarinets, trumpets, trombones, tuba, percussion, bagpipes, wind chimes. Wait, bagpipes? No. No, oh, bagpipes, no. Now, that being said, you don't need any prior experience of band. If this is your first time in band, come join us. I'll teach you how to play music. You don't have to worry about that. And band is more than just countless first division ratings and trophies and plaques. It's not about the trips to places like Detroit Jazz Clubs or Chicago or Six Flags or Cedar Point. No, band is more than all of that. What? Band is about taking a moment to, you know, just kind of relax and learn about music and talk about life and memes. You like memes? Funny. You like jazz? Now, that being said, um, band is just a cool place where we have a super diverse program. I'm talking people of all walks of life, of all backgrounds, and band kids are more than just band kids nowadays. Band kids happen to be cheerleaders, softball players, baseball players, basketball players, football players. I have wrestlers, snowboarders, skiers. I have people who go further into band and do band and choir or band in a band outside of school. I have rock band players. I have people who go through everything. Just because you're a band kid doesn't mean that's all you have to do. There are plenty of opportunities for other things, which is why you should consider doing band because, you know, you can do band and other things. And we really thrive on the fact that we are different. <laughs> Check it out from all of our other friends. Of the years of band was definitely going on a Chicago trip. Uh, one of my favorite things is like playing Harry Potter music and stuff like that. Chair Mr. Steinberg is really funny, and and um, I like this band class because it's really diverse and you get to socialize with a lot of people. So again, join me and all of our friends here at Mallow Junior High in the band program. Come join us. There's candy. Sometimes, not always. Band. <laughs>
Hello all, this is Mr. Bayer and I teach AP Human Geography which is a great course that you could take in 8th grade or 9th grade here at Malibu Junior High. AP Human Geography is a college level course that is offered uh, and if you take this course you have the opportunity to take a test at the end of the year and actually earn college credit. Uh, this is a course that covers human geography, human behavior. We look at where humans live around the world and what they do and try to figure out why they do them. We use maps. We also use a lot of math to look at statistics. Statistics that give us numbers that matter like you know infant mortality and birth rates and things like that. We do a lot of cool projects in class where sometimes I'll send you to the mall and you have to count people and do a population pyramid and a lot of different things. This is a class that definitely if you are an advanced student who gets really good grades and does very well on tests and you can take tests in a good uh, speed, uh, this is a great course for you to actually put on. Uh, for your 8th grade year. I also call it a gateway to the IB, CSI, MST, uh, and other air specialty programs because it's going to kind of show whether you can take an advanced curriculum. Uh, so if you're interested in taking my course, please sign up. If you have any questions, you can come see me in room A113. I can answer any questions. In addition to that, I know that Mrs. Grillo has a longer video. If you're interested in this course, I suggest you watch the longer video that gives you a bigger synopsis of what this course is about. Thank you very much for considering my course. Have a great day.
Exploratory Language is a one semester course here at Mallow. This course will allow you to explore the different languages, French, German, Spanish, and Japanese. In Exploratory Language, we're gonna focus on the basics of the language, such as numbers, colors, greetings, and simple nouns. Along with learning a little bit about the language, we're gonna also learn about the culture, which means that we will have fun and festive food days during the course to learn about the food and culture represented. This course will allow you to decide which language you would like to take the next year at Mallow, French, Spanish, or German. Welcome to the introduction of choosing a foreign language for Utica Community Schools. At Utica Community Schools, we offer three languages, French, German, or Spanish. As you can see on this slide, there are many reasons and benefits to learning a foreign language. Here are six of them just to start off with. Self-improvement, travel, jobs, college, studying, and then finally, art and learning about different cultures. While you are scheduling your eighth or ninth grade classes, once again, you have the choice in signing up for one of three different foreign languages, French, German, or Spanish. You are eligible to sign up for a level one foreign language course as either an eighth grader or a ninth grader. If you choose to take a foreign language starting as an eighth grader, you have two very important benefits. Number one, you can earn high school credit for this course as an eighth grader. And two, by starting a language in eighth grade, you are will be eligible to take Spanish at the AP level in the high school. Once you have completed a level one foreign language, you are eligible to take level two Spanish. So for example, if you take level one as an eighth grader, then you would sign up for level two as a ninth grader. If you choose to wait until your ninth grade year and take level one, then you would sign up for level two at the high school level. Both level one and level two courses are full year elective courses. Let's explore the different languages that you have the option of taking. First of all, there is French. Here are some fun cultural things that they do in French class. Crate making days, food days, Eiffel Tower art, and many interactive songs and games to enhance all of your lessons. Your next choice could be German. Same thing. Cultural celebrations, food days, learning German through interactive stories. There's always lots of fun to be had in a foreign language class. And finally, you could choose Spanish. The same thing, in the Spanish classes, there's lots of songs, projects, numerous interactive games. We recognize the celebrations of Day of the Dead and Cinco de Mayo. I hope that this presentation has provided you with some very important information in choosing which foreign language you would like to pursue. You cannot go wrong with any language. You will have a blast and learn a ton in any language that you choose.
Career exploration will enable students to learn and understand a variety of career clusters and the skills needed for a future career. Students will learn the important skills they need to work on as young adults that will help them to succeed in a workplace climate. Life Skills Career Exploration is a one semester class where students will set goals and develop plans of action. The class will promote a positive self-esteem and guide students into an understanding of mindfulness and self-care. Career Exploration is a fun, interactive class. Students will enhance the skills they have learned through hands-on projects and cooperative learning experiences. After taking this class, students will become better leaders, learn tips for time management, and how to set and achieve SMART goals. Most of all, they will learn what character traits they have and the importance of values and morals. Researching information about possible career choices and understanding the career pathways and clusters is one step toward completing their final career capstone project. Students will be introduced to a variety of career paths and create a future me presentation. The life skills department recognizes the importance of promoting the growth of the total individual, physically, intellectually, emotionally and socially. The life skills classes offered for ninth grade students provide instruction that will enable students to provide the quality and stability of their lives in an ever changing society. The nutrition and wellness class is a one semester half credit course that can be used towards high school class requirements. It is important to be happy and healthy. This class teaches the contrast between health and wellness with a focus on making choices that promote wellness and good health. The health and wellness class equips students with the skills that allow them to create and maintain healthy relationships, practice personal nutrition, health and wellness, and develop a life management plan. Students will have opportunities to create nutritious meals while learning, learning the dietary guidelines of the food pyramid. The parenting and family lifestyles class is a one semester half credit course that can be used towards high school class requirements. In this class, students will compare and contrast their roles now and with their possible roles in the future. Students will identify the family as a basic unit of society and his or her responsibility as a member of the family. Students will engage in real world exercises as well as cooperative learning experiences. These contemporary classes offered imparts a myriad of useful practices and philosophies on how to live a healthy physical and emotional life. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Trombley. I'm the vocal music director at Mallow and I'm here to talk to you today about one of the classes that I teach called Vocal. So this is an elective class for seventh and eighth grade students that you should sign up for if you like to sing or if you like music. So sometimes people will be interested in taking this class, but they won't sign up because they don't think they know how to sing or they don't think that they know um, music that well or they don't think that they have a good voice. Well, listen, I'm a teacher and it's my job to teach you how to sing. So the only prerequisite for this class is that you have a voice and then I can do the rest and we can work together. Um, so don't let those concerns keep you from taking this class. Uh, the question I get most often from students about a class where we sing every day is that they're nervous about singing in front of other people. Well, let me just say that I never make people sing in front of the class unless they want to. There are some opportunities throughout the year for some solos that you can audition for, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I think of choir, where we're singing all together as a team. Uh, we get to know each other really well, and we get to have a lot of fun working together to make some really beautiful music. So don't ever feel nervous about singing in front of other people by yourself, because there will always be a team of friends behind you doing it together. 
during a normal year, we sing several different concerts of music, ranging from classical music, pop music, musical theater, holiday music, and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, some of our concerts also feature choreography that is led by some of our students. We usually have our concerts at the Eisenhower Performing Arts Center, which is the big, beautiful auditorium attached to Eisenhower High School. Uh, but we also have some performances at district and state choral music festivals and other special events and competitions, one of which is Cedar Point. And after we perform at Cedar Point, we do get to have some time in the parks uh, on, the, on the rides as well, so that's exciting. In my class, you will also learn music theory, which can help you have a better understanding of how music works. And one way that we use this knowledge in my class this year is we did a songwriting project where everybody wrote their own song and added their own lyrics. And it was a very successful project and there were some really good songs that came out of it. Um, so that's just one example of some of the great projects that we do in class other than singing. Uh, I hope that this gives you an idea of all of the fun and exciting activities we do in vocal class. And I do hope that you would sign up so that we can be singing together someday soon. Thanks so much, everybody. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Trombley. I'm the vocal music director at Mallow and I'm here to talk to you today about one of the classes that I teach called Mixed Chorus. So this is a class for ninth grade students that's designed as a full year elective class. Um, sometimes students will be interested in this class but will be nervous about, you know, they, they don't know how to sing or they don't feel that they're good at music. Well, let me just tell you, I'm a teacher and it's my job to teach you how to sing. So as long as you have a voice, then this class will be good for you. Uh, the question I get most often from students about taking a class where we sing every day is that they don't want to have to sing alone in front of the class. Well, I never make anyone sing alone in front of the class unless they want to. There are some opportunities for solos that you can audition for, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I think of choir as a team where we are all working together and getting to know each other really well and having a great time making some really beautiful music. So don't ever feel nervous about singing uh, in front of people because there will always be a team of friends behind you uh, while we're doing it. During a normal year, we will have several different concerts with music ranging from pop, classical, musical theater, holiday music, and all sorts of other stuff in between. Uh, some of our concerts do feature choreography, which is led by some of our students. And we usually have our concerts in the Eisenhower Performing Arts Center, which is the big, beautiful auditorium attached to Eisenhower High School. But we also have some other special performances at district and state choral music festivals and other competitions and events, uh, one of which is Cedar Point. And after we perform at Cedar Point, we do have some time in the park to ride the ride as well. So that's a really fun event that we do. Um, in my class, you will also learn music theory, which will help you understand how music works better. And one way that we use that knowledge in my class this year is that we did a songwriting project where everybody wrote their own song and added their own lyrics. And it was a really great project and there were some really wonderful songs that came out of it. And that's just one of the examples of the great projects that we do in this class other than singing. Um, for you ninth grade students, I do wanna note that for those of you who are interested in performing or being in the choirs or being in the musicals at Eisenhower, joining a class like this as a ninth grader is really great for you all because you're starting to build some of those skills and starting to learn how some of those things function um, while, while you're a little bit younger. So if you have a passion for performing or if you're interested in being in some of the performances at Eisenhower, then I definitely recommend this class because it will help set you up for success for that. So I hope this gives you an idea about all of the wonderful things that we do in Mixed Chorus, and I hope that you will sign up so that we can start singing together very soon. Thank you, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm Mr. Swessinger, or as most kids call me, Mr. Swess. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about PE9 and Health 9, which will fulfill your state requirements for PE and Health. PE9 is a fun, no pressure class to enjoy a break from your normal education classes where you sit in a desk all day. We do a lot of fun activities and exercise. There is no written work or written tests. We do a variety of games and fitness exercises, including volleyball, basketball, pickleball, speedball, football, soccer, 
and as shown in the video, badminton. Health 9 is also a half year course, which helps with your state requirement. Uh, we discuss topics such as general health, fitness, exercise, nutrition, safety, relationships, uh, drugs, alcohol, tobacco. Uh, we also try to do this in a low pressure setting um, to make you guys feel more comfortable discussing these matters. And I hope that I will see you all next year. Have a good day. Who are we? We energize. We see potential. We inspire students and families and each other. We look up and lift. We move. We are noisy and vibrant. We let our students do the talking. And accept differing beliefs. We care. We build friendships, study groups, support networks, and strong relationships. We honor diversity. We expect greatness. Celebrate each other's achievements. Help one another. Close opportunity gaps. We learn. We ask why and question sources. Take notes. Then take more notes. Highlight and summarize our notes. Learn to write and write to learn. Collaborate and build on each other's ideas. We explore in science and computer labs. In the world outside the classroom. We solve problems we know. We can do anything we set our minds to. We persist. We're not afraid of failure. We learn from it. We can achieve and can show you proof. We build leaders. Confident. Confident. Change agents. We build futures. We are avid. You are avid. This is avid.